Hi friends, welcome back to tutorial 3 of ComSol Multiphysics. Uh, if you can see in our last two series, we developed two problems on fluid mechanics. So, in this tutorial, we will learn some other problem related to heat transfer. So, let me explain you the problem whichever we are going to study today and we will be solving it using ComSol Multiphysics. So, the problem is something like this if we have a rectangular block of any metal like copper say so this walls are at different temperatures say T1 this is at T2 T3 and T4 where T1, T2, T3 and T4 are not equal now we have to study at steady state what would be the temperature at different points of this block this to solve this particular problem we need to solve heat equation unsteady state heat equation the in 1D that looks like something like this del T del T equal to some 1 by alpha del square t del x square and for 2d one more term del square t del t y square will come so this is the equation we will be solving today so here if you see that t will be a function of both space coordinates and time coordinate so t would be a function of x y and t if this is the x axis and that is the y axis so we are solving having four Dirichlet boundary conditions so now the problem is clear as it is uh, solid there is no convective terms the no point of convective mass flux inside a solid block so we will be solving this particular equation so now let us come to the ComSol so to solve it again we click on model wizard then 2D now we don't take fluid flow we take heat transfer if you expand this heat transfer module you will see there are several options like heat transfer in solids, heat transfer in fluids, heat transfer in pipes and so on. As we are solving a heat transfer in a rectangular metallic block, so we will be taking this particular equation, sorry, this particular module that is heat transfer in solids. So after taking this one, you just click on add. once it has been selected we go for study again we are studying for unsteady state so time dependent then click on done now we all know uh, then what to do we go to geometry right click take a square or rectangle whatever you want and let us take the unit in centimeter again say it's a the length of the the size of each length of each side say 5 centimeter so that is the block if 5 centimeter I think it's too big we keep it 2 centimeter ok now we come to material right click on material and then click on add material we write copper and then enter it will search for copper because I already told you there is a material library in ComSol and we can choose material from this material library and if there is uh, there is a material which you want to use and there is no material like this in the library then you can take uh, add your own material and define your define the properties of the material still it is searching 
yeah it has come so again click on material library copper alloys there is nothing called copper ok no issue uh, we can choose uh, this any one of this ok just click on add material ok it is already selected in this region so now this block is made up of this particular material now you come to heat transfer and uh, let us see what are the equations we are solving you can see here <coughs> this is the unsteady state term and that is the diffusive term as I have shown you earlier this is uh, as I have shown you earlier this particular diffusive term here in COMSOL this term represents this particular term represents that diffusive term where Q is the heat flux you can see it from here so once again when we take the divergence of this grad T we will be getting this diffusive term second order diffusive terms ok so now again we have to take four boundary conditions thus you take temperature again temperature four walls so we need four different temperature again temperature so temperature one set this wall and we keep it say 400 Kelvin temperature two say for the time being we are keeping this particular wall at 400 and all other wall say 293 Kelvin itself so three walls at 293 Kelvin and another wall at 400 Kelvin now initial value it is at room temperature probably yeah it is at room temperature and so I think my problem is defined again I go for normal meshing now my meshing is done and those are the grid points where COMSOL will be solving the equations after discretizing the equations and then we go to time dependent solution and click on solve let me say the time step 0 0.01 and solve for 0 0.5 second now click on compute so the simulation is running behind yeah this is done now if you see this plot is a temperature plot and in this particular temperature plot I have taken this wall as 400 Kelvin and all other wall at 298 so heat is being transferred from this high temperature region to low temperature region and the as we proceed to this direction the heat I mean the temperature will go down and from figure also you can see if I click it here you can see the value is 389 if I go further say 377 363 348 326 and at at far corner it is uh, again becoming almost equal to the room temperature <coughs> again if I uh, go to the isothermal contours so you can see the contour line how is it look like ok so the temperature the values of the temperature is given here so this is a simple problem on heat transfer module <coughs> thank you for watching